But here at the Star of the West property, we are on Ridgeline, Maine. We got my dad here, J number two. And we're gonna be walking along this road, sampling as we go. It's supposed to be some old mines, a couple kilometers down. We'll see if we can find those. Not too worried about that right now, but we just wanna get a, a look at what's on this old road sample the creeks that we cross and uh, take a look above and below the roads. So what we have here is granodiorite. Right behind it you have volcanics and you have a mineralized area where the two contact. So a lot of the showings around here are between the contacts of volcanics and granodiorite, but there's also quartz veins in the granodiorite and massive sulfides in the volcanics. Looking at this little showing up close, we've pulled off a bunch of rock here. So you have a vertically positioned lens here of Scarn, and it's about five to 10 centimeters thick. It's not well mineralized. We have a little bit of chalcopyrite, a little bit of magnetite, and a little bit of pyrite. And it looks like it's just in the contact between volcanics here and your granodiorite. So we're gonna grab a sample and then move on. Just on the edge of a creek here. Found a float sample. Massive sulfides, it's mostly iron pyrite. A little bit of magnetite. All right, take a look at the showing here. This is a two meter wide area. Some gossin on the outside. You have massive sulfides and a large massive sulfide lens a meter wide running down this way underneath the road. So we're gonna hammer some samples off and take a look. Here's a piece that just fell off. You can see pyrite with quartz. So there's obviously a quartz vein up in here that's associated with this. You can see the mass of pyrite in this sample here. So we're taking samples off of here. We cleared off down here and uh, we noticed there's some more mineralization down here. More quartz stringers. Got a sample right here. Massive sulfides and quartz. Mostly pyrite, a little magnetite, a little chalcopyrite. We got this area cleared out a bit better. And as you can see up there, the yellow staining on the rocks, the gray, that is all one giant massive sulfide lens and that's a meter wide. Right where he's pointing the stick is all a meter wide where this hammer end is. This is all massive sulfides here over to there. So just a little over a meter wide massive sulfide quartz vein. And in the front here you have disseminated and patchy iron pyrite. From the top down to here, this is about six meters. And this is at least two meters wide. Some of the samples we've pulled off Quartz with pyrite, massive pyrite with a bit of quartz, just a grab sample from the side of a vein.
most of these are predominantly pyrite. There's a little bit of calcopyrite in some areas of these samples and minor amounts of magnetite. Right now, J2 is using a stick to dislodge some samples up there from an area that it's not safe to go to. We've got a giant boulder here, piece there that's fallen down. So let's uh, take a look at those and see the mineralization. Here's a couple of pieces that came off that upper area. Massive pyrite. Another big hunk here. Some beauty samples. Bag and tag, let's move on. 200 meters down the road we found this mineralized outcrop here, just peeking out through the dirt. Hammered a couple samples. Looks like scarn, some volcanics. You have stringer mineralization, patches of pyrite, a little pyrotite and magnetite. Take a sample from here. So this is a two by two meter wide area. Mineralization found as disseminations in the fractures of the rock, stringer veins. As you can see, digging down below in all this soil here is the outcrop. And it is also mineralized in there. Quite a few shear zones here. Don't see much mineralization, but interesting little area. Lots of shears here too. You got some mineralization there, little band of sulfites. In this area here, you have some mineralization, little bits of scarn, little bits of malachite. You can see some lenses running up here. We're going to take a sample from a couple areas here. Several lenses here of massive sulfides, pyrite, magnetite, a little bit of calcopyrite from over there. Another little lens. And here you have another one. 10 centimeter wide lens of massive sulfides. From this lens right here that goes up, 
we got some samples some very nice calcopyrite some magnetite in there So some decent samples from a small little lens. So we've had another rock type change here. We went into a valley, there's a creek flowing there and we're hiking up. We're about 500 meters past that. We're not seeing anything that's interesting. There's a lot of dirt and stuff that's sloughed down in the bank and there's not a whole lot of bedrock exposed. So this is actually accessible from the other end. So we're going to go there another day because we've run out of time. So let's head back.